If you're watching this clip, it's because my audio cut out and I'm basically done, you know? I don't really like doing this type of stuff. You guys wanted it, gave it my best shot, probably won't do it again, so. Audio cut out, I guess, on the preamp, so. Whatever I lost, I'm just gonna cut, unless, yeah, so. Ben Shapiro, roses are red, and you're dumb. Tom Brady, uh, clean up on aisle, your mom and I are pen pals, and she authors me suggestive letters on a bi-monthly basis, and your dad is none the wiser. Here's exactly what happened. I tried to do this last night and I ended up unironically rage quitting because it, it just it just wasn't going too well. What we're finding out is that I'm actually not good at Minecraft. By the way, what we're trying to do here is Oh boy, what the f is that? Bro, ah! I'm in hardcore. Ah, okay, run. Ah, ah. Okay, we're retreating. Where's my Okay, uh, 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 uh. Ha <laughs> ha! We're gonna build, wait a minute, that looks safe. Cause there's lava and light. That's where we're gonna set up shop. For now. Yeah, I know, I know I look like an idiot right now. I, li I have not played Minecraft in forever. So. I don't even play a lot of games on the PC either, so it's not only that I'm not familiar with the game, it's the controls that are really killing me. Oh, that's a creeper. Epic. What is that noise? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. This is a... Oh my fucking god! Alright. So that was fun. So, but we're gonna we're gonna dive back into it. We're gonna get a good let's play. So I'm very excited. I've got the questions. I've got some caffeine because I've got it's just a mess. And getting the website out for the merchandise and this epic Minecraft let's play. The last two days I've had maybe like somewhere in the neighborhood of four hours of sleep. But still high energy, still ready to play some Minecraft. Very excited. Oh wait a minute. Did someone say website? Whoa, if you're watching this video, that means the website is live. That means the merchandise is live. So you can go check that out at heckoffcomedy.com. Also, during this video, you're gonna wanna stick around because we will be giving away two iconic Heck Off Kami laptops to someone following me on Twitter and someone following me on Instagram. So very excited. We'll also be answering all the questions that you guys had. Just kinda went through and picked the, the questions in YouTube like had them there and so okay we're, we're gonna play Minecraft now all right we're very uh, very excited so yeah you can see some of the trouble that we ran into yesterday uh, but of course we're gonna play hardcore mode because I was exposed to testosterone in the womb very epic heck off Kami 69 420 based and hardcore obviously so Anyways, we're supposed to answer questions too, so this isn't just a, an epic Zoomer nostalgia moment. So, do you want a website? I'm a programmer and will fully make you a site. If you'd like to own all of it, not using Wix or something, I can do that too. No fee or anything. Well, hey, thanks, big guy. I appreciate that. Um, I actually have a website. No! No! Oh, you don't even know. You don't. You, you, uh, you truly don't understand how my character arch is just completed. Um, if you're watching this right now, as a matter of fact, that means that HeckOffKami.com is live. You can go to HeckOffKami.com, you can buy epic HeckOffKami merch, you can sign up for epic HeckOffKami subscriptions to access exclusive content, such as the extended video of me rage quitting Minecraft. You can do all sorts of stuff on HeckOffKami.com. You can vote on video ideas, submit your own video ideas, watch live shows, uh, ask questions in the monthly mailbag, which is somewhat obsolete because I'm about to answer a bunch of questions right now while playing Minecraft. Yes. But anyways, but anyways, if you want to do that, if you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it because YouTube demonetizes virtually 
all of our videos. So basically, all right, this guy is presumably the leader. Hello, sir. Um, what happened yesterday was the mistake I was making was I kept trying to farm resources from just organically, and I had forgotten that my heritage, being a white man, means I don't build anything, I don't create anything, I just go and I colonize and I exploit native peoples for their resources. So that's been the winning strategy for my ancestors and my bloodline, so I think that's just what we're going to try and do here. Um, Alright. So yeah, but I, I appreciate the offer on the website. I actually, the guy that's doing it for me was a fan as well. He reached out to me. Uh, I refer to him as White Pill Wyatt because he's just such a positive guy, super nice. Young guy, a young Chad with a, a wife and a daughter already. Couldn't be more proud of him. But yeah, I texted him last night. I told him, I was like, hey, uh... It's gonna be a little late on that Minecraft Let's Play because I, I unironically rage quit. And he texted me back and he said something like, Yikes, you're a beast, like go get him. Just something encouraging really uh really helped me out. Okay, so we got a nice little uh, nice little commune set up here. We're just gonna we're gonna explore a little bit before we decide our course of action. But yeah, I appreciate the offer on the website. What's your favorite pie? Favorite pie? Obviously Apple because I'm not a communist. If you're an American and your favorite pie isn't apple pie, you're a communist. I mean, I just, it's not my belief, it's just my observation. Or you could say American pie, but not the film. Not the degenerate film. The song. There's a rule amongst my friend group that if that song comes on in the car, you're not actually allowed to exit the vehicle until it's over. Okay. So basically, I'm going to colonize that village and enslave the populace, and then use that to achieve my ends. Very exciting. What a time to be alive. Are you going to make a Discord server? I personally, as of right now, am not going to make a Discord server. I don't know enough about Discord. I've never used it before. I, I think I've maybe used it once to do an interview or something. Um, or appear on the Quite Frankly Show. The Quite Frankly Show. Great show. My buddy Frank. You should check that out. But yeah, I, I don't know if I have to make one for it to be like the official Harkoff Comedy Discord server. So if that's the case, maybe I will. Depending on how many people want it, I don't know. It's just not... Too high on the on the agenda right now, but it can move up if, if necessary. When did you think of Heck Off Kami? I thought of Heck Off Kami about two months before the channel started, so that'd be 14 months ago. And I was at work, I was working at a subway. I would open up the store every Saturday and Sunday morning, so I'd get there bright and early. I have a nice 20 ounce Tim Hortons black coffee. And by this time I knew that I wanted to start a YouTube channel, and so I basically was trying to think of a name for what I would call the show, I guess you would say, and I didn't like the idea of, oh, the John Doyle show. I just think that sounds kind of dumb. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really like that format for naming shows. I wanted it to be like a command. I wanted it to be like, like something like, ah, and so Hack Off Kami is where that came from. And that was inspired, I think, by that meme of uh, the crudely drawn Gadsden flag with the snake on it, and the snake just says, heck off, instead of don't tread on me. That's probably where that came from. A lot of people think that it's a more polite way of saying f off, commie, which, you know, the show is art, it's interpretive. If that's how you want to interpret it, go ahead. But I never thought of it that way. I just thought of it as a funnier way of saying, go away. Uh, how often do you watch videos where people try to directly respond and, quote, rebut your arguments? Not that often. I mean, I, I don't go looking for them. Sometimes they're sent to me by people, but I can usually tell by the text accompanying the link how credible the video is. And they're always in the same format, at least from what I've seen. It's always some out of shape, usually overweight leftist guy with a superfluous amount of facial hair. And then he just insults me and makes a fool of himself for an hour. And I don't know. It just really makes me cringe. Like I saw this guy message me and he was like, oh, you have to do a debate with this guy so I can watch him intellectually steamroll you. And I was like, D -d really? Like, really? He's going to intellectually steamroll me? Like, I've never thought that I'm the smartest guy in the room, but do you truly believe there's such a discrepancy between our intelligence to where he would steamroll me intellectually? It's like, dude, chill out. And so I watched the video, and this guy literally just insults me for an hour. Just, oh. And it's always the same. It's always John Doyle. Oh, it's such a little bitch. Baby Nazi. And the thing is, is, as much as I disagree with liberals, liberals don't do this. The only people that do this are really far leftists that dwell on the internet all day. They're the only people that do this. I've never had this problem with liberals. Liberals will freak out and, you know, call you a Nazi and a racist, like, to your face, and then they'll go about their day, but they're not going to make, like, hour-long videos about you and then just, like, try and make names for themselves by insulting you, whereas that is quite often the case with these leftist characters. 
So as you can see, I'm not too good at Minecraft. It really what it is, is it's not, it's not the game, it's the controls. I'm not used to playing it on the PC. This isn't even my PC. This is Cameraman Badan's Epic Gaming PC. Yes. Okay. Yeah, oh, wait, I had it. Oh, I got it. Okay, wait, how do I, yes. Epic. High IQ. All right. Okay, very epic, very epic. Uh, how do you do the, the table on which you craft? Yes. Very cool. Thank you. Yes. Okay, epic. Um, so we're gonna set up... Hmm, yeah, probably right here. Nice. Okay. So these people... What the f... Why are you... They all look... Is this it? They all look the same. They're all... Oh, they're so primitive. They haven't learned that diversity is a strength yet. Oh, man. I'm about to colonize them and instill my Western values. Yeah, uh, diversity is a strength. It's actually the greatest strength. That's why you guys are so primitive. That's why you're still reliant on this sophomoric architecture. What is this? This... How do I... Yes. What the... Oh, oh, that's a stone cutter or something. Very epic. I know about... I know about Minecraft. So I've already basically asserted myself as their friend and basically, effectively, their leader. So now I can actually move forward with my agenda, which is establishing the Independent Socialist Republic of Hawk. And so by... Establishing the Independent Socialist Republic of Hawk that enables me to forward my own agenda. So very excited for that. It's actually it's getting dark. Learn my lesson. Dark means it's time to go to sleep. So that's what we're gonna do. And then tomorrow we'll start to erect the compound, and none shall denounce the compound. And then we will move forward from there. So very exciting. Yo, my guy, Coke or Pepsi? Definitely Coke. Definitely Coke. I mean, that's a. What is this? What is this? Have you no manners? I am your guest. I'm your leader. I'm your de facto leader, since you guys seem to have some sort of anarcho-communist society. Epic. Um, yeah, I mean, I like Pepsi products. Hey, how many death threats have you received? Just wondering. I'm curious to see how many people are dumb enough to think it works. I haven't received a lot of death threats. Death threats I wouldn't mind. I would actually consider death threats to be a badge of honor to a certain degree. The rhetoric... Ah. Oh. Uh, you know, actually, this is probably enough anyway. Um, the rhetoric of which I'm on the receiving end, I would argue, is worse than death threats because it's coming from people, and liberals don't do this. To their credit, liberals don't do this. Liberals will screw. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we're coming. We're coming back. Wow. It looks like we got a, a little adventure cooked up or something. No. It requires a sacrifice. I'm sorry. It's, stop! It requires a sacrifice, not the egg. Can it hover? Oh, that's epic. You too. You fool! None shall denounce the compound! You will submit to the Independent Socialist Republic of Hawk! Okay, so this is the, this is the de facto gulag. So note to self, de facto gulag, this way, Independent Socialist Republic of Hawk, that way. Epic. So what the f- what is that? What is- Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry- Oh my- Ah! I'm sorry! No, I'm in- I'm in hardcore! Please don't kill me! Ah! Oh, man! Ah! How do I stop it? I think I might just have to fight it. I don't want to fight it. Epic! Yeah, maybe next time you should have been a little bit faster, idiot. Maybe next time you wanted to, uh, to get old John Doyle, you... Hey! I can't tell if he's mad. What's up, big guy? Yeah! Yeah! I am superior, you stupid lard. Um, yeah, the rhetoric of which I'm on the receiving end is always very sexually charged, which is weird. I mean, these people are very depraved and they linger on the internet, and so they'll say really weird stuff. So, yeah, never tell me that I don't relate to the Me Too movement because I am sexually harassed by communists online. 
on a daily basis. And it's so pathetic too, because they would never say that to my face. Like, they, they would never look me in the eye and say that to me. And that's not to say like, oh, I'm so tough, I would beat them up, they would dare say it. It's, those types of people don't have the capacity for conflict IRL in person. They just don't. That's why they dwell on the internet and just expel negativity. I don't know anybody that's ever done that. I don't know anybody that has ever, like, l even left a negative comment on a video. Like, you have to think, those types of people that go out of their way to just create negativity and just, like, they're just pathetic. They're pathetic. They're not on our level. I feel bad for them. I pity them. That they would need to derive validation from sexually harassing John Doyle on Reddit. Yeah. Yeah, very, uh, very promising, very promising future for those young leftists. Yeah, if I were that much of a loser, I'd probably hate capitalism too, to be honest, but I'm not, so here we are. Time to go to sleep. Very productive day. Very productive day, indeed. What are you guys up to? Oh, that's... Oh my god, alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll, no, excuse me. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to impose. Yeah, that's my bad. Those, uh, those western men always, what are you doing? Are you like the... Was... Wake up! Wake up! Oh, they're flipping out. Why? Why is this? Wait a minute, I needed that. I need, uh, this. I, I, I know what to do. What games do you normally play if you play games in your spare time? Evidently, I don't play a lot of games in my spare time. I know that everyone's laughing at me because I am just comically bad at Minecraft, but I don't really care because you're just leaving negative comments online and I am the premier of the Independent Socialist Republic of Hack Off Kami. So, or Hawk, excuse me. I, I blaspheme. Oh, that's, uh... Okay, interesting, interesting concept. We will, uh, we will avoid... Where's that iron guy? Aren't you, like, security? Oh, look. I'm not afraid of you. Ah! You fool! You fool! You fool! Oh, wait a minute. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, we will... Hey, yeah, what are you doing? Look at. Look at. Look at. Sick him! Oh, he actually does it. Oh, that's epic! <laughs> you forgot the... You forgot the more threatening one. My guy. Where is it? Come, hey. Hey. Go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. Go get Ah, oh, man. Okay. Um, can I get it to like, where's that one guy that, where's the, the three of them? I'm gonna get it to suicide bomb them. Because they, uh, they were, they were disrespectful. They didn't wanna, they didn't wanna include me in their little slumber party. And so I guess we're gonna go postal. Oh, God. Is it them? It is them. Okay. That way. That way. Okay, we're just, we're gonna risk it. Ah! Epic. Oh no, what happened to you? Oh my god, this is terrible. This is terrible. The compound has been attacked. The compound has been attacked. Ring the bell. The compound has been attacked. This compound has been attacked. I declare martial law. I declare martial law. I need everybody to report to the public square. I need everybody to report to the town square, I declare martial law until we can figure out what's going on. I, I, I have no idea what happened. I have no idea. It was just, there was an attack on our people. Ah! What the f*** is that? What the f*** is that? No! Go away! Socialist Republic of Hawk. We will go on hardcore because we don't learn our lessons. Do not pray for easier worlds. Pray to be better miners. That's JFK. Uh, you said a long bit ago you were going to do a video about porn. When is that going to happen? That's going to happen in November. For reasons that should be obvious, we're going to do that in November. But yeah, I've been, uh, been planning that one. How can I make quality political videos like you? Maybe explain your process. I don't know what my process is, frankly. 
you probably have a better grasp of what my process is than I do because you see the final product and I don't know, I just sort of... Do I really look like a guy with a plan? I just do things, you know? Uh, I guess I try and find topics. Yeah, if you want to start doing it, I try and find topics that I care about and topics that I think other people will care about, so I try and achieve some... Ooh! Okay. Wait, no, this is a siren trying to distract me from my mission. This is a false flag. They know that I'm coming for their village, and so they're trying to distract me. Yeah. Nice try. I don't care. You think some, some, some colorful rocks are going to distract me from establishing the independent socialist republic of Hawk? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, I would just try and... Because otherwise, if you're not interested in it, then it's going to be bad content because you're not going to look interested. Wow. Big brain. Um, and if people aren't interested in it, then they're obviously they're not going to watch it. But I would say that you should invest money in your production value because on YouTube people tend to not want to watch things if they don't look good, which is why I spent a lot of money getting cameras and lights and all sorts of stuff. I had no idea what I was doing. I just was on Amazon and I was like, hmm, all right. So I just added a bunch of stuff to the Amazon cart and uh, here we are. So how's the channel satire? Uh, I should just go into the cave and never come out. I said that as a joke to protect myself from YouTube. I said that, oh, this channel's satire. I don't mean everything I say. I'm actually Swedish. And people are like, oh, he, because people, some people are just so paranoid. They're like, John Doyle's controlled opposition. I knew it. It's like, dude, stop. Like, please, please just stop. Go away. Like, please just stop. My God. Yeah, I, I spent a year of my life, thousands of dollars, Hundreds of hours just to gotcha, gotcha. I articulated arguments and and provided evidence and all sorts of that for a year, and championed the conservative cause just to prank you, bro. Because it wasn't IRL. I was just doing a bit. Pranked. You mind if I use your reaction for a funny YouTube video? Please, bro. I'll blow your face out. Uh, what's the story behind your intro? All right. So basically. I was at work. This all happened the same day. I thought of Heck Off Kami. I was trying to think of an aesthetic for the show. Like, just what I wanted the set to look like. Um, and I just really like 1940s and 1950s America. And so I was like, alright, well a lot of people I think get nostalgic for that time period, so that'll probably go over well. And this is the people on the left that I was like, John Doyle wants to go back to the 1950s because he hates black people. Huh! Maybe someone should tell Boomer John Doyle what the top marginal tax rate was in the 1950s. It was in the 90s. Yeah, but the effective tax rate was about the same, you idiot. No one was paying that, idiot. Dummy. You think you, you think you know, ah. Uh, okay, be humble, be humble. But everyone can relate to this. Like, you know, when, when, the, when, when our friends on the left just, like, you really think that I haven't thought of that before? You really think I'm just ignoring that? You think I haven't read farther into it than you have? You... Truly, do you believe that? So it validates your own ego? Alright. Be humble, be humble. We're going back to playing Minecraft. It's a good, it's a good day. It's a good day today. The merch is dropping. We're playing Minecraft. And the website is dropping. It's a good day. No, no reason to be negative. We're going to find a village as much as they're going to try to distract us and deter us. We're going to find it. We're going to instill our will upon the native people because that's what us white people do. So, very excited for that. But the story, um, so I thought of that, and I thought of a sort of, like, leave it to beaver type aesthetic, you know. I had never actually seen the intro, but everyone kind of knows, like, no one, everyone that watches my intro n understands, like, what it is, even if they haven't seen those, like, classic TV shows, which I never had, frankly. Uh, but I kind of, like, knew that, oh, that's what they do, they've got, you know, this. So I thought of, I even wrote it down in my notes on my phone, I'm pretty sure I still have the note. It was like, oh, uh, pull up in a 50s car and, you know, three-piece suit with a hat and, uh, you know, catch football, kiss daughter, uh, kiss wife, try to light a cigarette from a, a cigarette case, and then it doesn't work because I don't have my lighter, and then my wife is like, I have your lighter, and then there's a shot of her, and she's like, my clueless husband, and then heck off, comment, and so, yeah, I can't wait to read the guy. Why isn't he, why isn't he harvesting resources? Why, why isn't he in the mines? Bro, you don't have diamonds yet? I'm gonna have other people do it for me. Okay, you're playing Minecraft wrong. I'm playing it correctly. So I rented the car from this older couple, and they, they, I wasn't very clear on what I was using it for. They were there and they saw us film it, but they were kind of, what is this for again? And I was like, oh, it's for school, you know, school, I'm a, I'm a film student. Because I was afraid that they were, 
gonna be like uber liberal and be like hack off commie oh my good so I was very vague about it maybe maybe a tad misleading but they got paid so it's whatever but yeah we filmed the video I'll show you some behind the scenes footage because it's quite funny actually You want you back off? Wait! I'm supposed to- Oh, I'm supposed to be like- Yeah, yeah I, gotta, I gotta get the little pan look, to be honest. <laughs> That's literally it right there. <laughs> did you know that you have a subreddit? r slash heckoffkami. I did not know that. I don't really go on Reddit. But if anyone's using Reddit, I guess r slash heckoffkami is the place to go. So, very, uh, very cool. Thank you. Hardcore mode, don't be a special snowflake. I'm not. I would rather die multiple times playing hardcore and keep my integrity than even live for a second on survival. Please. Don't be a special snowflake, bro. Bro. You look like Biza. He's a boomer. What else? John Doyle's a boomer. He's only 19 years old, but he's a boomer because his intro is in black and white, and I'm dumb. Yeah, oh, I'm a boomer. You got me. Yeah, I didn't really expect you to grasp what that intro was trying to convey in the first place. Maybe the fact that the, uh, the nuclear family, maybe, the fact that the nuclear family is so obscure in modern America, it's been so disintegrated and so marginalized. Yeah, maybe you would see that and put it in black and white and think, wow, this must be 60 years ago, because you really don't see that in mainstream society anymore. Look at the divorce rates. Look at the single motherhood rates. You idiot. John Doyle's a boomer, yeah? But you're an idiot, so... What are you gonna do about that? Probably not a whole lot, because you're an idiot. And you lack self-awareness. Which is a symptom of being an idiot. So it's kind of out of your control, I guess, to some degree, so I guess I do feel bad for you. No, I don't, because you're an idiot. Why did you want to start Hack Off Kami? I don't really have a good answer for this. A lot of people on the left like to, you know, when they're asked about, oh, what got you involved in politics? They'll be like, I didn't want to be involved in politics, but I just saw the way that our refugees were being treated, and so I had to shut up. Shut up. They're trying to to contort it into this moral high ground into oh, I'm virtuous and that's why no shut up There was no one event. I, I mean, I've been into politics as long as I can remember I've been getting into debates with people as long as I can remember so there was no one big Event where I was like I must get involved, but as far as starting the channel again It was just something I kind of wanted to do and then uh, it became time I was just kind of like oh, yeah, I wanted to do that I better start doing it because I'm not getting any younger. So started doing it, and now uh, now we're playing Minecraft for 120,000 people. So very exciting. Where did the name Heck Off Kami come from? I think I went over this. I just thought of it when I was really caffeinated. Thought it was pretty funny. That was the, the, my favorite part about Heck Off Kami. The name is the way that people react to it that are older than like 27, 22 even probably, 25. We'll say 25 so that we include White Pill Wyatt. Like when I was registering the trademark for it, I had to talk to a few attorneys at the USPTO. And they were all just like, are you sure you don't mean hack off commie? I'm like, I'm positive. I'm positive I don't mean hack off commie. Like, like what? Like they're, like they're an infected limb? No. Heck off. Even my dad. My dad for like the first, probably up until like maybe July. When's the next hack off commie coming out? Well, gee, I don't know, because the first Hack Off Kami hasn't even come out, because it's Hack Off Kami. A lot of you are probably going to be like, oh my god, he hasn't even done anything yet. He's just been wandering this biome. Yeah, well, when I find my village, and when I establish the Independent Socialist Republic of Hawk, you're going to feel quite stupid, because I'm going to have all these resources, and indentured servants, and shelter already constructed, it's going to be a nice little community, and then you're going to be sitting there wishing that you had been nicer to me. Uh, how do I feel about marijuana legislation? Love from Britain. Well, hey, ahoy from across the pond. I don't know. I'm actually very ambivalent about marijuana. I very hesitantly voted in favor of it. In ah! 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 What the? Stop! It's funny because I'm not, like, even trying that hard to get away at this point. I feel like that's reflective of my current state of life. The instinct to survive no longer exists metaphysically. And now it's it's just, yeah, just honestly kill me. 
I don't even like this biome. I can't even find a village. I've passed that mushroom twice now. I'm not gonna, no, there are beds already out there. I'm trying to reduce my carbon footprint. I'm trying to be ecological. And these stupid monsters don't understand that. These primitive species. Um, yeah, I voted very hesitantly in favor of marijuana uh, in 2018 because it was on the ballot in Michigan. So I, I still couldn't tell you I have a, a decided opinion. Um, I, I am personally against it, but again, my personal views don't mean that you are not able to use your uh, use your marijuana, smoke your smoke your marijuana, snort your marijuana, inject your marijuana. Honestly, just f***ing kill me, please. You know, I'm just gonna do it myself. I'm not gonna give you the pleasure. Where's that cliff? Where is it? Where? Nope, that's not a cliff. Yeah, you know, I don't even care. I don't even care. Your mom is gay. So. Back in hardcore, we've learned nothing. Okay, John Doyle, who's your favorite founding father? Um, my favorite founding father? I'm, you think I'm just gonna say George Washington, or Thomas Jefferson, or James Monroe? No, I'm gonna say someone like Samuel Chase. Oh, you haven't heard of Samuel Chase? Yeah, probably because you're dumb and don't actually know anything about the founding fathers, so. Sorry. I hate people like that. It's like, hey man, who's your favorite founding father? And they're like, hm, they have to like, recite a list of like three or four people that they just previously googled to sound very very uh very esoteric like hmm, yeah my take on the founding fathers is actually it's actually not what you're probably used to you think i'm just gonna say thomas jefferson no in fact i would say that he was relatively obsolete yeah okay shut up just say just say washington like the rest of us just say somebody that's on a dollar bill like the rest of us you're not unique, you're not quirky. Same strategy, same strategy as last time. The determination stays the same, the strategy stays the same, because the payout's gonna be tremendous when it pays out. Where will you go if YouTube shuts you down? I will go to court. I will go to court if YouTube shuts me down. You think I'm not willing to die on this hill? I'm 19 years old. I could conceivably fight that battle for the next like 65 years or something, I don't know. I'd prefer not to, that's not like a, that's not like, that's not a threat. That's not even, you know, I, I would prefer not to. I'd like to keep doing what I'm doing now, if that's okay with you, YouTube. I prefer not to have to go to court. It'd be very expensive and time consuming. I'd much rather continue to do what I'm doing now, which is wander Minecraft biomes looking for villages so that I can plunder and loot and instill the independent socialist Republic of Hawk. What's your PayPal? I'm about to send you $5 so you can paint that electrical outlet so it doesn't look like the M1 is being fed by a magazine through the handguard. Well, joke's on you, because that's not actually a electrical outlet. That is a hook that is holding up the rifle. It's funny, because someone who works for that company actually messaged me. They're like, hey, you're using our product. I just got off work, and you know, I worked for them as a kid, too. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't have a PayPal, but you know what I do have if you'd like to send me money or purchase a subscription? I have HackOffCommy.com. Because Patreon is all like, I'm Patreon, and I de-platform conservatives, and I take money away from creators. And me, a conservative creator, is like, you know what? I don't know about that one. So, you know, the libertarians are like this one. Oh, just go make your own Patreon. Just go make your own. Well, I did. It's hackoffcommy.com. You can donate money. Much appreciated. You can purchase subscriptions to access exclusive content, vote on video ideas. The Hack Off Kami newsletter, live shows, much appreciated. You can buy epic Hack Off Kami merchandise so that you can you can promote and normalize and and spread anti-communist rhetoric in this country. That's epic. Okay, that is epic. And it's also good merch too, because I was like, should I make bad merch and then just like be a greedy capitalist and and just reap my profits and and then dive into a pool of money? No. I, we're, we, we've got collabs with Champion, with American Apparel. I mean, these are high quality, very epic, very nice Heck Off Kami merchandise pieces. We've got apparel, we've got hoodies, shirts, socks, mugs, stickers. It's very epic. So head on over to heckoffkami.com. Do you feel like nowadays conservatives and especially Trump supporters are hated? or oppressed slash hated. I'm 15 and I would never tell any of my friends or especially my parents that I don't hate Trump. My parents genuinely think that anyone who doesn't hate Trump is brainwashed. Yeah, that's kind of funny. 
Well, not, it's not funny, but I don't know. It's funny in sort of a, a clown pilled kind of way because they're actually saying that if you don't possess hatred within you towards another individual, you are brainwashed and there's something wrong with you. They're the virtuous ones for harboring that hatred within them. Within them. And you're not. You're actually lesser than them. So yeah, we're absolutely hated. Absolutely, there's no question about it. We are, we are harassed and ridiculed and ostracized by every facet of the media. I mean, it's just like, it's not even a question. I mean, it's a question and I appreciate you asking it, but as far as, oh, well, we have to look at the evidence and really just see if we can determine whether or not there's any, it's 100% true. And anyone that tells you otherwise is working against you actively and knowingly. For the Q&A, what do you believe in, like religion or belief? If you Christian, what denomination? I am Christian, I would call myself Catholic, Roman Catholic, but more broadly speaking, I would just say Christian. What's the most hysterical encounter you've ever had with a leftist? Oh boy. Hysterical encounter. Oh, yeah, easily. Um, this was this was sophomore year chemistry. This was during the height of Black Lives Matter. I was having a conversation. I thought it was a conversation with a young lady about the movement and she told me that oh, well, you know, black men are disproportionately targeted by police officers and that's wrong. And I just asked her, I didn't tell her, I asked her this question, which was, do you think that has anything to do with the fact that they disproportionately commit crimes? And she became irate. She became, as you said, hysterical. She was screaming and cursing and making a scene. And the teacher allowed her, she just left the room. I think she said she was going to try to fight me or something. But she stormed out of the room. And then the teacher, this white liberal woman, came over to me and asked me what had happened, and so I told her. And she had kind of heard some of the rhetoric that this girl was, was spouting as she stormed out of the classroom, and so she was kind of aware to some degree what the conversation was about, but, um, so she came over and she asked me, oh, you know, what happened, and even though she already knew, and I told her. And so then instead of saying, wow, that was really crazy, you know, is everything okay? I should go check on her. Perhaps I should tell the principal or send her to the office. She then tried to engage me in a debate pertaining to what we had just talked about, this girl and I. She was, oh, well, you know that those statistics, blah, blah, blah. She was actually having a debate with me in front of the entire class about discrimination against black Americans by police. And I was just so astounded by this. I mean, I still, I was very ready for it. I had my statistics and I wasn't even a challenge, but uh, it was just, it was, it was funny. It was very funny that that was how she reacted to it. That, I mean, that her, her conviction wasn't to do her job and perhaps keep a peaceful classroom environment. She decided that she's going to have to to uh, really, really just stand by the Black Lives Matter narrative and then try to try to uh, try to engage one of her students in that narrative. Oh, uh, see, I told you, I freaking saw everyone's like, this Let's Play is boring. He's just walking around. It's about to get heated. Is that a village? Or am I dumb? Oh, those are just trees. That's not even a village. Are you serious? Bro! Alright, low IQ moment. Low IQ moment. Give me a break. There was another one. This was sophomore year in debate. I never lost a debate, by the way. But this girl was telling the class, not even within the context of a debate, she was just going off on a tangent for whatever reason. She told us that the origin of the word picnic is in the 19th and 20th century when white southerners would get a black person and lynch them and then they would have like brunch and make a day out of it and it would be like their Sunday afternoon entertainment. So I thought this was horrible. I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Because I remember faintly learning that word in my French class and so I thought that I might just fact check her but I wasn't going to call her out for it because I figured, you know, whatever. So I looked it up and turns out the origin of the word is la pique in French. But she was correct in that it was used to advertise lynchings of black people back in the day. The thing was, though, is that she claimed that that was the origin of the word rather than just an employment of the word, which was wrong. And so I just remarked this to cameraman Badan, who was sitting to my left. And I guess she must have heard me say the word picnic, because I guess it, it's kind of, you know, it sounds, your voice gets a bit higher. Your voice gets a bit higher, so it sounds somewhat distinct. And so she heard me say that, and she became 
hysterical. She was flailing her arms around and screaming. Same thing, stormed out of the class. Stormed out of the class. And then the same thing, liberal, per li and then the same thing, liberal teacher comes over. And this guy was actually nicer. He wasn't really trying to... Oh, well, don't you understand? He was basically just trying to de-escalate the situation, but I didn't really have a whole lot of respect for how he did it because, again, he didn't hold her accountable for not being able to control herself. But he didn't come down on us, or more specifically me, which was nice because the other teacher was acting as if I was in the wrong. So. Um, dude, honestly, like, I just, this is where we're at right now. So I'm really bad at Minecraft not good at Minecraft, and uh, I, I just can't. I just can't do it anymore, to be honest. I mean, ever since, like, ever, I'm walking around these biomes, and I'm just thinking about what could have been with that first, that first city that we had, that first village. I mean, it was perfect. And then that little zombie just had to ruin everything. That little, uh, that little that pesky, meddling zombie had to ruin it for all of us. I mean, think about what could have been. If only we had done socialism correctly. If only we had done it correctly, so. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna play something that I'm actually familiar with. Very epic. So, uh, question for the Let's Play. What's your biggest life goal? What is my biggest life goal? Wow. Good question. What is my biggest life goal? Um. Oh, well, buddy over here is blackpilled, no? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, uh, do I have to lead the ways of one of those? Okay. Probably to be on my deathbed and not feel as if my impact on the trajectory of the country was less than what it could have been. I guess I would say. Uh, and I, I know that sounds funny because I was just playing Minecraft and now I'm inadequately playing Left 4 Dead to follow my inadequate Let's Play of Minecraft, but. That's, that, that's what it would be. I mean, I feel- are you- stop! I hate boomers! I hate boomers! You know, I used to be a little bit, uh, I used to be a little bit of a gamer back in the day, but I haven't really played video games in a few years. Wow, who would have guessed that the boomers would ruin it for everybody? Ah! Um, that's not an alex- stop it! See, everyone's either being a boomer and ruining my life or sexually harassing me. Stop! I can't, okay, anyways, anyways, anyways. Um, I mean, I would say that's for, for what I want to do and for what I'm passionate about, that would be it, but I, I think for everybody, the, the goal at the end of the day really would be to, to feel as if you did everything that you could have done. Feel as if you, you optimized your yourself, your life, whatever. Oh, wow. Heck off. Yeah, I used to be a gamer back in the day. Really heavy into Valve games. But I haven't been playing. I just, I didn't think it was productive. And I guess now, it, I should have just, uh, I should have kept playing just in case, because now I look like an idiot. I'm supposed to be an epic gamer, but I'm just epic. Bummer. Friendly fire is based. Uh, hold on, I'm reading a question. You guys get them. What is your opinion of the on the introduction of income tax by Woodrow Wilson in 1916 over the previous versions of taxes? Was it good or bad? Very bad, very bad. Decidedly bad. I don't care what they say. The legality of it is questionable. It's extortion. It's, it's it's literally extortion. Look up the word extortion in your in your dictionary, and you will see that they are virtually identical. Income tax is extortion. It is it is government. Or what, what was the way? I, I went on a little tirade about this yesterday on Twitter. It's governmentally facilitated redistribution of wealth. That's what it is. Because we know that two thirds of it, at the very least, is just redistributing wealth from one American to the other American. And that's what I said in this little, this little tweet, a couple tweets that I put out, which was that they say, oh, well, the rich need to pay more taxes. They need to be paying their fair share. Of what? What are we talking about? Are we, uh, oh, that's a bank. No, no. Oh, stop. That's racist. That it's targeting me. Ah. 
Where is it? Look at this dude. I'm. No, it's going after Coach. Base flat Coach. Yo, if it was going after uh, going after Ellis, I might have to white knight. To be honest, I mean someone's got to repopulate. Yo, I'm white knighting for Ellis. Wait, no, yeah, Ellis is a man. What's the girl's name? There is no girl. We're just dudes. I thought Ellis was like the hot one. Well, who's the, is there a girl or is that Left 4 Dead 1? No homo, big no homo. I have socks on. I have socks on, so it's not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it. If it were gay, I'm just letting you know for clarification it's not gay in case more people decide to sexually harass me. Ah! Um, but yeah, I, uh, oh, right, but the idea of, Oh, well, they need to pay their fair share. Pay their fair share of what? Because really what it is, in the majority of cases, is generally you've got Americans who are willing to work and who do work subsidizing the ability for Americans who will not work to not work, to continue to not do so. That's what we're seeing. So it's not like, oh, we're all deriving benefits from this, this entity to which certain Americans have to contribute a bit more because they can afford it. No, no. What it is, it is Americans who are providing, redistributing income, redistributing income, what is this? Redistributing income to Americans who are taking. That is fundamentally and definitively what we are seeing with our current tax system and our current entitlement policies. Get a second pistol? Yeah, I'm out of ammo for the Uzi. Uh, oh, no. Eh. Oh, haha, very epic. Yeah, I was spraying a little bit. All the gun guys in the comments are gonna be like, you should be firing a bit more accurately. You know, you hold the weapon, you decrease, or you hold the trigger down, you decrease the accuracy of the weapon. Try pulling the trigger in bursts. Yeah, no, I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray and I'm gonna hit my teammates because friendly fire is based. As someone who has taken a stand against compromising with bump stocks before, what do you think of proposed red flag laws? I I abhor, I detest the proposed red flag laws. Cannot stand them, no tolerance. And you know, I've been pretty critical of President Trump as it pertains to the Second Amendment because mainly he, he, he campaigned in 2016 as we're going to be pro-Second Amendment, we love our Second Amendment. Ah! Ah! It's, such, it, it's raping me. Me too! Me too! Why are you not helping? I am the most valuable asset. A boomer vomited on me. Yeah, a boomer vomited on me, and he's defending the Vietnam War, and he's telling me that my music is not as good as Bruce Springsteen. I get it. I'm used to it. Um, yeah, you know, he campaigned for constitutional carry. We love our Second Amendment. And now he's entertaining the idea of red flag laws, you know, the bump stocks and everything. So we've covered this before. Thank you, Coach. Black people just have this, like, very nurturing energy in survival situations. Like, every time, you know, every time I've ever been, like, visibly distressed, uh, some black guy, like, when I, I'd be at work or something, and I'd be just overwhelmed with, like, lines of customers or something, and some black guy would just come up and be like, hey, man, it's gonna be all right. And I'd be like, hell yeah, it's gonna be all right. Thanks, my guy. Like, I saw this one stand-up comedian and he said this one thing, he was like, black people are the only people that can make you feel excited about you. Like, they could just walk up and be like, hey, is this you? Is this you? And you'll be like, yeah, this is me. Like, they just have that energy. And that's what Coach just did. Coach just used his health pack to heal me. Very based. Or maybe he used, I don't even know what he used, because I don't have one. Boomer, yep. Um... Sounds like Stitch. I think Trump, a lot of what he does with gun policy, he thinks that if he extends an olive branch to the Democrats, they're going to work with him on other things that might be bigger for bigger wins for him, things like immigration. But that's just not what's ever going to happen. Okay, they cannot be trusted to lead the way. I, I apologize for putting any faith in them. I'm trying to talk about big brain political things. way. Oh, oh, very nice. Uh, because, wait a minute, I'm the black GF. I'm the base black GF. What? What? 
Oh, I'm the, cause I was like, no way it's all dudes. So I'm the black chick. Okay, that's okay. I identify as black. I identify as a woman, and I can do that. And if you say that I can't, it's because you're racist, you're sexist, and you're using outdated language. What are you, stuck in the 1950s? Like Boomer John Doyle? Yeah, uh, that's a big yikes for me. But virtually the entire platform of the Democrats, as evidenced by their rhetoric for the last four years, frankly, talks of impeachment that began even before Trump's inauguration, their entire platform other than now embracing Bernie Sanders' 2016 platform, is basically, Trump is bad. We can't really tell you why necessarily, but Trump is bad, and we parrot this as if it is common knowledge. Oh yeah, Trump's bad. You don't think Trump's bad? Trump is just bad. And then, that's how we frame our conversation. So, Trump entertaining the idea of, oh, if I compromise on something, it's gonna help me politically. Such is not the case, because any concession and any coexistence or evidence of coexistence with President Trump is inherently against what the Democrats are trying to achieve politically, so it'll just never happen. Honestly, you get what you deserve. No one told me I was a black woman. I feel like I should have been able to know that. Did you know I only make 68 cents on the dollar? And then Nick, the white man over there, or Ellis, getting pinned down, getting pinned down by a, by a zombie, and I'm supposed to use my resources. I only have 68% of the resources that you have at your disposal. I'm supposed to help you? No thanks. No thanks. Uh, do you have plans of making content that is more global and not just American politics? Because a lot of the concepts will vary depending on what country you're in. Not really, to be honest. My concern is with America. My concern will always be with America. My concern with other countries is predicated upon how their policies are affecting America because ultimately, ultimately America comes first. So I'm not, I also don't want to spread myself too thin because I only have so much time every week and I don't know if I want to allocate some of that time to covering things that don't directly impact the lives of Americans because as I said, ultimately my allegiance is to the American people. But we'll see, we won't rule it out. Would appreciate your opinion on the Brexit movement and any other European affairs you're knowledgeable on. Well, very pro-Brexit, big fan of Nigel Farage. Uh, I don't really know too much about Europe. I know that France is bad. I know that Brexit is good. That's basically all you need to know, frankly. Question, what kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. There are basically two schools of thought. And both of them are that if you still think The Office is funny in 2019, you need to spend less time binge watching Netflix and more time reading books or writing or playing Minecraft, something productive, watching Rick and Morty, some, some high IQ endeavors, not watching The Office. Oh my God, I bought a Dunder Mifflin sweatshirt and I'm gonna wear it on the first day of school. And it's gonna be a mating call to other people that watch The Office so that this is what I get. This is what I get for denouncing the big, the big, the definitive, the definitive piece of entertainment of our generation. I get attacked by, by a literal NPC zombie. That's what these people are, these office people. I love the office. I'm going as Jim and Pam for Halloween. They're NPC zombies. And of course I criticize the office and what do I get attacked by? An NPC zombie. Yo! Why is she flipping out? Why is she getting mad? Shut the f up! Ah! 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 Why is no one helping me? I know I did this to myself, but I need your help! Don't you care about the downtrodden in society? You selfish Americans, you stupid white people, you stupid white men have no sympathy for the downtrodden black women of America. Sorry, folks. These cars capable I know I did it to myself, but you know what it was? It was a test. It was a litmus test to see if I could trust these white men. And you know what? Coach isn't, Coach isn't absolved either because he is a, he, Coach is a minority, but he's still a man. And so they're trying to instill some sort of de facto patriarchy in this post-apocalyptic world, 
and I have to suffer as a black woman because of it. That's just bullshit. How do I get an NPC to check their privilege? Uh, Steam tutorial, how to get Left 4 Dead NPCs to check their privilege. Yeah. All right, back at it. When are you gonna run for office? I'll do a coup d'etat just to put you in power. Not gonna be necessary, but I do appreciate it. As my Instagram followers know, I'm going to win 70% of the vote. You may roll your eyes, you may scoff, you may think, John Doyle thinks he's gonna win 70% of the vote? What a naive thing to say. Trust the plan, trust the plan. Going to win 70% of the vote, no coup d'etat necessary. Although the effort and dedication is appreciated, so thank you. That being said, disavow violence as he's playing violent video games. Oh, violent video game, no! Uh, I'm playing a violent video game. I just realized that means I'm gonna become a mass shooter. What a bummer. Boomer! Yeah, that was so satisfying. Freaking boomer. Uh, hold on, stop, I have to answer a question. Bro, I was wondering how you started out and about the decisions that led up to your YouTube channel after graduating high school. Did you decide to start the channel, not go to college? Do you have a side job? Bro, basically I just wanna know how you got to where you are today. Love your videos, keep going. Thanks, man. Hey, I appreciate the positivity. I do appreciate the positivity. Yeah, I just kinda got to a point where I was like, oh yeah, I always kinda wanted to start a YouTube channel and I haven't done that yet. So, I guess we're gonna do it. And actually, the amount of stress I was under a year ago in putting everything together, you know, with everything I had to buy for the set, all the equipment, stuff for the intro, you know, coordinating all of that. I really had no idea what I was doing, but I trusted my instincts and everything worked out. And that's very much how I feel right now with the website and the merchandise and, you know, we're, we're, we've got big plans. And... Boomer! Where'd it go? So we got big plans, big plans for the future. Very excited, stressed out, but if you're not stressed out, you're not working hard enough. Ah! Be gone, thought. Zombie thoughts be like, uh, can I leave a hickey on your neck? Except it's not a hickey because I'm gonna bite your jugular. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. I hear a boomer. Where's the boomer? Hey, Vietnam was a stupid war. Vietnam was a stupid war. I think that I deserve a living wage. I think I deserve, oh, that's not a boomer, that's a tank. Oh, okay. A Little bit of a low IQ moment on my part. Do apologize. Where is it? Ah! Okay, another low IQ moment. Where? Where? Did I inadvertently light it on fire? Where is it? I hear it. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's not, that's a charge man. I thought I heard a tank or something. Oh no, the boomer! You, oh, you f I hate you! Oh my god. Of course. Of course, yep. Yeah, this is about right. Uh, if you had to sell all your guns but one, which would you keep and why? I don't own any guns. Nice try, ATF. Nice try, Fed. I don't own any guns. The guns I've shown in this video aren't even real. They're props, they're airsoft, they're toys. The M1's not even real. That's airsoft. That's a green screen, actually. Good try. Good try, ATF. Good try. <sighs> Are you conservative or libertarian? Will you be doing a video on the firestorm happening right now with Trump? Are you in the Midwest? Definitely a conservative. Went through a libertarian phase. Let's just say we uh, didn't last too long. Um, come, stop! Um, will I be doing a video on what's happening with Trump right now? Probably not, to be honest, unless it like significantly escalates, only because I don't really think that it's very interesting. Like, I don't know what my take would be that would really just shake the earth. I mean, like we all know what's happening. The Democrats are just using this to achieve their political ends. 
and it's all BS. So I mean, I could extend that to 13 minutes if I were so inclined, but I don't know that I am. I don't know that people are inclined to watch it. And am I from the Midwest? Yes, I am from the Midwest. Very epic Michigander. Big fan of a uh, big fan of the Midwest. What's that noise? What is that? What the? How did you get the Glock for the open carrying video? Um, so in my state, if you're under 21 and you want to buy a handgun, you can go to your local police department, get a purchase permit, and they do the background check, and then they give you the purchase permit, and then you are permitted to purchase a handgun from a private seller. You get three copies, one for you, one for the police, and one for the private seller. Return it to the police within 10 days or else it's a misdemeanor. And so that's what I do to get all the handguns that I don't own because I don't own any guns. Nice try, Fed. Ah! Reloaded. Ah, it's okay. I got it. I got it. No, I wanted to use the Molotov. Hell. Die, boomers. Ah, okay. You guys stay out there. I'm going to hide in here. Oh, there's no door. Heal yourself. Uh, oh, very nice. Very, uh, very convenient. Okay, very cool. A jockey. Not too concerned about that. So, that's how I did that. Uh, why are you playing Minecraft? There's other games, you know. Well, I ended up not playing Minecraft because, turns out, I'm bad at Minecraft. Also, if you don't get why I played Minecraft, like, like, it's a meme. Obviously, it's a meme. Everyone was like, dude, play Minecraft. So that's why we played Minecraft. It's not like, I, well, I, I, I'm announcing uh, Minecraft. No, it, this, the demand was there, so I provided a supply. Yikes. Uh, when and why did you get into politics? There is no when and why definitively. Like I said, I can't give a... I just couldn't stand to see how... No, I mean, I've been into it as long as I can remember. And there's no real big event that compelled me to become involved in politics. Boomer! Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I got it. No! Are they going after my fellow black guy? No! Boach! Boach! Okay, very cool, very cool. Very cool. Alright, let's go, uh... Minecraft Let's Play for every milestone? Probably not. I mean, I, I didn't even make it through one Minecraft Let's Play. So, what do you think of Hearts of Iron 4? I saw you talked about it in one of your videos, and I love to play it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I like Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, thank you for standing up, being controversial, and speaking the truth. No problem. No problem, big guy. I mean, you know, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it, and so it's going to be us. Grab an incendiary ammo. Right. I need... Oh, fully loaded pump shotgun. Well, I guess we've got a fully loaded pump shotgun now. And a propane tank. Oh, hang on! Aha! Epic. Get dunked on! Heck off, heck off. Heck off, damn it. Heck off. I need more catchphrase. Heck off. Heck off. Heck off. I'm just going to carry this around. And we will, uh, we will figure out. Oh, you can hit people with propane tanks. Very epic. How do you feel about having a required gun class in high school? It would go over how to shoot, handle, and store guns. Sounds brilliant. I would, I would love to have that. I, I wish that we could have that. I think the majority, if I think almost an exclusive cause of the fear that Americans have towards guns is because they just, I startled the witch? Where? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, ah, 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 be gone, thought, be gone, thought, ah, help. No, come on, you guys. Ah. Oh, you idiots. Okay. Okay, we're gonna be okay. 
We're gonna be okay. It's all going to be just fine. Epic. Okay, and I've got pain pills. I'll get addicted to pain pills. No problem. Has anyone ever told you you look like the rapper Logic? Yeah, I have been told that. I get that a lot, actually. Oh, you think I need your help? You think I need your help, white man? You think I need your resources? Yeah, how about you give me my other 32 cents on the dollar? How about you give me that, white man? But, yeah, I, uh, they tell me I look like Logic a lot. I don't see it, but I guess for everyone else sees it. Okay. Uh, outside of politics, what do you, what do you like playing games or reading? I mean, basically everything I do is, is political. You know, that might sound like a, like a sad way to go about life, but... I like it. I don't mind it. Even, like, when I'm hanging out with my friends, it still is political. We talk about politics. The only difference is it's edgier and more profane. But, yeah. It's just, that's just what I like to do. So, yeah, I read books about politics. I watch political videos. I read a lot of articles. I just read a lot. I haven't done anything like this in a very long time, which is why my skills are quite rusty. I was an epic gamer back in the days of, like, 2016. 16 just held such better days, you could say. Where? 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 I have a light. Ah! Help! Help! Thank you. So, yeah. Coach! My brother! Appreciate it. Uh, who's the lady in your intro? My wife? Were you not able to arrive at that conclusion? I mean, we kiss. She kisses me on the cheek. No kissing before marriage. Obviously, my wife. I laugh at that because people are like, oh, is that lady actually your wife? There's no ring on the finger, so evidently not. Some of the leftist people are like, John Doyle got his sister to play his wife in the intro, cringe. No, not what happened. I didn't want my sister in the intro. Why are you all after me? This is actual racism. It's, it's because I'm black. It's not because I'm away from the group. It's because I'm black. Okay, now I'm gonna die again. Okay, I'm going out with a bang. Ah! Ha ha! What's your favorite sticker on the laptop? Wow, good question. No, okay, it's actually definitely the Trump high IQ, high IQ sticker. That's hilarious. That's my favorite. I have been laughing at that tweet for years. And then I saw that there was a sticker for it. Didn't even have to think. Just on reflex bought it. I was like, I need this on my laptop. Why do you look like pizza? Wow. Very uh, original. Very original, original joke. Why do you look like every time your father rejected one of your hugs, you went and made yourself 1% uglier? Hell! Okay, I'm just going to hang back and let them do it. Let them, uh, let them earn that extra 32 cents on the dollar. All right. Oh boy. Yeah, let me read this really long question while zombies are attacking. I can't. A little busy. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. The shotgun is just not for me, to be honest. Not very, uh, not that I'm effective with any weapon, but I'm certainly not effective with a shotgun. Okay, uh, love your channel, moderate conservative, 18 year old gay, moderate conservative, love your channel, just wanted to know your view on the LGBT community, I have my own issues with them, but love to know your thoughts, also wanted to know if you were ever bullied as a child, whether it was physical or mental, you seem like a good looking, confident guy, did you, uh, did you ever feel or, what does that say, did you ever, did you ever feel, get any teasing, thanks and congrats on 100,000. I'm suspect of that question. I feel like that's not genuine. Because a lot of the, the leftist guys that come at me, they're like, I just want to push him into a locker. And then you look at their profile and they're like this skinny little, I want to push him into a locker. And they're like really fat. Like, I would push John Doyle into a locker. It's like, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't push John Doyle into a locker. Ha ha, too fast. Too fast. Good try though. Better luck next time. But no, I was, I was never bullied. Oh, I set up the alarm. Are you kidding me? There was, in seventh grade, there was this guy, ah, I will help you. There was this guy who would make fun of me, and then I told him that I was going to kick his teeth down his throat, and then he stopped. Um, 
let's see. And ah, 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 ah. In elementary school, there was this kid. And he and I actually ended up becoming friends. But he used to say that he was better than me. And I was like, no, dude, I'm better than you. And we were like, we could just both be better than everyone else. So we became friends. Other than that, no, not really bullied. I mean, if you want to consider the bullying just being hated by a majority of this, express my beliefs and talking points, but I'm pretty much scared of a 1v29. How can I feel confident to speak and engage in a debate? Accept the fact that you are hated and find a way to allow that to stimulate you. There's a really great quote from Andrew Breitbart that actually was my senior quote in high school. It was something to the effect of, Adulation may feel like a warm bath after entering a cabin from a snowstorm, but the, the, psychic, the psychic high of standing up for what you believe and being hated for it far surpasses that. Something, something to that effect. I mean, you can Google it, but that's so true. Because we have a tendency to want to... I see this so often from conservatives, this tendency to want to be like, Oh, well, you know, I'm, not, I'm a moderate. I, I just think that this, 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 I just, like, they're automatically just impotently taking a defensive standpoint. No, that's not how we need to operate. Just, well, I just think that we should have border security. No, there are kids dying. There are people being raped by these MS-13 animals pouring over the border, and you don't want border security? What the f*** is wrong with you? That's the energy we need. That's the energy. Not this, oh, I'm, s well, I just, I just think that, no, I think this, and if you disagree, you're wrong. That's the energy. That's what you gotta do. Because you're right. Chances are. If you're conservative, chances are you're right. So, just be able to uh, articulate it, be able to support it. And as far as a 1v29, don't be afraid to do the Tucker Carlson. Don't be afraid to do the Tucker Carlson. I'll tell you what. When Tucker Carlson isn't like, I mean, I just, I love watching him react to BS because he just, he's so transparent. He doesn't sit there and pretend to, you know, he just starts laughing. He can't even help it. So don't be afraid to just start laughing at these people. Like, look at you. You look like animals. Behave yourselves. You can't even control yourself. You're yelling at me. We're talking about politics. Behave yourselves. That's what you got to do. That's another great Breitbart clip. There were a bunch of protesters yelling at him. And uh, I forgot what he but it was something to that effect. And he just says, behave yourselves. Behave yourselves. It's like he's, he's talking to children, which in effect they are. I miss that guy. Who's your favorite intellectual and why? Probably Chesterton, G.K. Chesterton. Reloading. Um, would you ever have a team to help you out with Hack Off Kami or with your channel? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, we got big plans for the future, so we're definitely going to be expanding. I mean, I have a web guy right now, but that's basically it. And he's just, he's a contractor, but... I'm going to continue working with him in the future. Very epic. Big shout out to, to White Pill Wyatt. But yeah, big plans in the future. Definitely room for expansion. Uh, question for John. Ah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Question for John. What career paths interested... What, ah, uh, hold on, multitasking. Epic. What career paths interest you or are you focused on uh, being involved in political media and my favorite US president I gotta say Trump and I know that's you know oh, Trump Trump but it he is my favorite US president even ignoring the 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 resurgence of nationalism and the rhetoric and the movement the fact that he has completely eviscerated the idea that you have to be a politician to seek office at that level. I think it shocked Americans, and I think that's right. good. I think that is one of the best things that he's done. Okay, here's a question. What encouraged you to make videos, and uh, later the kind that you are doing now? It must have been something that made you start making videos about this type of stuff. Oh, are you talking about this type of stuff? You mean like the men's issues? No, I mean, I've always been... I've always been passionate about that, because, I mean, I, like I've said in those videos, not to reiterate all my points, but... Men are suffering. We gotta take care of our boys. So I've always been aware of that, but as far as why I just started talking about that recently, I sort of have a queue of things that I want to talk about, and I kind of wait for them to become relevant within the news cycle. And it just so happened that with Joker and everyone complaining about masculinity and incel violence and everything, that 
acted as a good segue for us to have that discussion. And it resonated with a lot of people, which was really good to hear. I got a lot of messages from people saying that, hey man, you know, I'm really happy that you brought attention to this. And that's really good. If I could make some people feel a bit less isolated, or as if what's happening to them in this country is not as overlooked, not as ignored. But as far as making videos in general, no, there was no one big event that compelled me to. Weapons over here. What does the Trump tweet on your laptop say? It says, sorry haters and losers, but my IQ is one of the highest and you all know it. Please don't feel so stupid or insecure. It's not your fault. Of course I have it memorized. It is the funniest tweet that I've ever read. I'll probably get it tattooed on my body at some point. Is that a witch? Oh. Help! Help! I must. I'm sorry. Are you idiot? Yeah. Nice try. Thought. Thought patrol. Ah! All right, chill out, 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 chill out. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, relax. Everybody just realize. See, you guys are bathing in it. You guys are splashing around like, oh, come on. Shout out, shout out Nick coming through with the dub. White knighting over here. Yeah, hope she sees this, bro. Hope I see this, bro. What would be the top picks from your bookcase? Well, we are going to have weekly book recommendations on the website, so you can check those out if you'd like to because I get that question a lot. But as far as top of my bookcase, I, I say this a lot. This is my go-to recommendation would be Righteous Indignation by Andrew Breitbart. It's a really useful manifesto on how to operate as a conservative activist because you can read as many factual argumentative books as you would like but if you're not in the mindset to go to war you're not going to be effective and so there's no point so definitely righteous indignation by Andrew Breitbart because that will shock you into the mindset that is necessary to combat leftism I just discovered you when you popped up on my recommended. Need to know, are you a nine-year-old? Of course I'm a nine-year-old. Do you see my shirt? I've been a nine-year-old since like 2014. Charger. Who's this? Look at this dude. Charger. Yeah. See you later, dude. John, question for the Q&A. Why did my parents leave me? Yikes. What's your opinion on Ben Shapiro? Uh, I'd say generally positive. I mean, I have criticisms of practically everybody, but... And Reagan's 11th commandment, never attack those on your side. So I'd say that Shapiro's been a net positive on the movement. Will you be going to any turning point rallies? I don't plan to. Why am I moving so slowly? Oh, because I'm dying. Hey, you guys want to throw me a bone here? Because I'm dying? Is there health in here? I'm dying. I'm gonna survive. I'm going to survive. I got it. 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 Okay. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Uh, I don't have plans to go to any to go to any TPUSA rallies. If I'm invited to speak there, I'll go. But as far as just going, just to go, not really. I mean, the only political rallies I go to are protests or Trump events, things like that. I mean, it depends on who's there, who's speaking, what's going on. I can't just, I can't say definitively for the whole genre of, of events. Question. If you were giving advice to another 19-year-old that was really successful in high school debate, that's in exactly the same, uh, same mind space as you about how to recreate what you've made for yourself, what would you say, what would you do differently if you were starting from the beginning, what are your pro tips, etc. Thanks, man, love the show. I actually, I've had this conversation with myself a few times. I don't know that if I went back a year ago, I could do this all over again as well. Because like I said, I was so just trusting my instincts and kind of playing it by ear. I don't know that I could do it again and pull it off. I mean, I would just, as far as doing it, I would say be ready to put a lot of effort in and then get no results and then just accept that and then wait for something to happen. That's what I would say. Man, you went off. Also, I didn't know you're Swedish. 
I'm not Swedish, but I did go off. John, please take a sponsor. You deserve it. We will all understand tenfold. Take a sponsor? Why would I take a sponsor from some big corporation or some company that's trying to make me push ads in your face? Why not the people of Heck Off Kami? Go to heckoffkami.com. Buy a membership. Get access to exclusive content. Monthly mailbag, live shows, early access to merchandise, all sorts, very epic stuff, very based, very cool. You're going to want to be there. You're going to want to check it out because that's the thing. I don't work for Bull and Branch. I don't work for Movement Watches. I work for you. So that's who my allegiance is to. So I'm not going to be pushing ads in your face. You guys are all the support that I need. Heal coach with first aid? Yeah, no thanks. It's my first aid. I had to work hard for it. Ha! I believe her and all the world's leading scientific organizations over some radical in his mom's basement. Oh, I get it. Because when there's someone on the internet that we don't like, they're in their mom's basement. Well, fact check, libtard. I'm not in my mom's basement. I love that argument. I love that comment, too. I believe her and all the world's leading scientific organizations over some radical in his mom's basement. It just shows how dumb that guy is. Yeah, I'm gonna rely on an argument from authority. This girl is 16, and the scientists say so, therefore it must be true. And I already don't like this kid, therefore he's a radical. And because I label everybody, and then judge their credibility from the label to which I provide them, that's why I'm dumb and I leave negative comments on YouTube against poor John Doyle. Poor John Doyle. Send in the clowns. Ah! Sent in the clowns. Send in the clowns, because we're at the carnival. That's why I did this. Uh, where do you see the world in the United States headed in the next 10 years? Uh, positive. Everything's gonna be fine. We're all gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna turn... We're gonna turn things around. To heck with the laptop, I'd love to have that M1 behind you. Yeah, I bet you would. Come and take it. Come and take it from my cold, dead hands. What firearms do you have? Nice try, Fed. I don't have any firearms. Yeah, good try. Uh, I don't own any guns. We've covered this. We all wanna know. So who are the people in the intro jingle, and how do you have a Tech 9 at the age of 19? What state do you live in? People in the intro jingle, not gonna dox them, but they're friends of mine. How do I have a Tech 9 at the age of 19? I don't have a Tech 9 because I don't own any guns, but if I were to hypothetically have a Tech 9, I probably would have gone through my local police department to get a purchase permit and then use that to purchase from a private seller. And I live in Michigan, very, the very epic state of Michigan. Could you set up a devil's advocate interview with Steven Crowder? I always love these. Hey, when are you gonna go on Louder with Crowder? Hey, when are you gonna go on the Sunday special with Ben Shapiro? As if like I'm leave I'm leaving Ben Shapiro on red. Like he's texting me like, John, John, please come on the Sunday special. I'm just like, dude, go away. Come on, leave me alone. The ball is not in my court. They are much larger. They have a much larger audience, platform, reach, all of that. So if they would like to have me, I would love to appear. Maybe that's what you guys gotta do. Just go spam the comments. Yo, bring John Doyle on, bring John Doyle on. If I go on the Sunday special, I will tell Ben Shapiro to his face that he looks like pizza. I will be totally transparent. You think I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna back down in the face of Ben Shapiro? You think I'm gonna hesitate and not tell him he looks like pizza? Yeah, unlikely. Unlikely. Question, Mr. Doyle, what is your most left-leaning view? Thanks, love the show. Thank you, appreciate that. Most left-leaning view? No, the clown. Um, I mean, a lot of people would probably perceive leftist belief ah, as just more regulation and more control and so in the eyes of the audience my most left-leaning belief would probably be that I support a ban on pornography and I know your reaction to that is gonna be ban on porn what 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 just trust me trust me I'll explain more in November I have arrived at this conclusion after lots of research and thinking and evaluation so it's not just some it's not just some knee-jerk reaction I am wholeheartedly in support of a ban on pornography. But we're conservatives, we like ideas, we like intellectual diversity, so I trust that you'll at least hear me out without immediately 
you know, getting mad. What does this do? Uh-oh. Alright, hold on, let me read a question before this all goes, uh, goes to hell. Is that a real M1 behind you? Even if it's just a background, it's freaking awesome. That is a real M1, authentic, 1945 Springfield M1, fully functional, ready to go, in case some Koreans come in, in case some actual fascists come in, fully functional, ready to go. That's right, I love when the people on the internet, they're like, John Doyle's a Nazi. John Doyle's like, I have a weapon behind me to kill the actual Nazis. I have anti-Nazi propaganda behind me. Yeah, but John Doyle's a Nazi. Are you dumb? Like, are you are you actually dumb? Is that what's happening? Because if you're dumb, I can deal with it. But right now, I'm just trying to trying to figure out what's going on with you. Uh, uh, that's Coach. Stop! Stop it! Let's read a question. You ever going to go on Steven Crowder's channel or show? Do an interview something? Yeah, like I said, you know, if he were open to it, I would definitely, but I just don't think I have that opportunity right now. But again, you guys want to reach out to him, spam the comments, send him an email, whatever. Let him know that uh, John Doyle exists and he's ready. Ready to come on the show. That'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, you guys can you guys can do that if you would like to. You want to see me on Louder with Crowdman. You think Gen Z is more conservative than the previous generations? Love the content. Thank you. And yes, I do. I, I believe the the recited talking point is that we're the most conservative generation since World War II. We're still majority liberal, but that's to be expected with every generation. But yeah, and I think a lot of it has to do with memes, to be honest with you. I think that we're a generation that has epigenetically adapted to be in love with memes, and you've got a certain facet of the of the culture that's saying you can't laugh at that meme, that meme is offensive, and they're just saying, shut up. Screw you, you tell me I can't laugh at a meme, and then make a meme about them. So, I think that uh, meme warfare is very real, very effective. You guys wanna, oh, epic, okay. Ah! Stop trying to, another question. Oh, that was the last question. Very epic. All right, well, this has been fun. I might just finish it out. Oh, okay, fine. Chill out, chill out. Hell, hell. Oh, thanks. Shout out, Ellis. Hell, 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 hell. Help! Shout out, coach. Help coach up. No! I'm coming, Boach! Boach! No! Coach! Coach! We have to get out of here. Shut down the carousel. I'm going in. Get back, boomers. I'm stuck. I'm gonna make it. Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, I did it. Epic gamer moment. Oh boy, oh, okay, it's wraps. It's actually wraps. One last shot. Stay away from my friends. Ah. It's better if we pretend that I died and that I died saving or at least trying to save my friends. But anyways, that about wraps it up for the epic Minecraft Let's Play, the epic Left for Dead Let's Play. If you enjoyed, let me know. If you didn't enjoy, keep it to yourself. I don't really enjoy doing these types of videos, you know. I do, I do, uh, 
high IQ political commentary. I don't really do epic gaming streams, so. But the fans wanted it, so of course we delivered. So anyways, uh, we're gonna put the winners of the Heck Off Kami laptop, both of them, we're gonna put the winners of the epic Heck Off Kami laptops right here and right here. We're just gonna like put their images. I probably DM'd you by the time you're watching this. I'm literally just gonna ask you for your address and then I'm just gonna send you a laptop. So it's gonna be very epic. Be sure to go to heckoffkami.com. If you're watching this, the merch is live. Get it, get it before it's gone. Be sure to get a membership, support the channel. If you want to uh, keep the lights on, really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching and may God bless America. What? You haven't gone to heckoffkami.com? You know it's epic, right? You can buy merchandise. That's epic. You can buy a Heck Off Kami subscription that enables you to vote on video topics. Submit your own video topics. You get the Heck Off Kami newsletter. You get live shows. You get exclusive content. You get early access to merchandise. You get the monthly mailbag. You get all of it. It's so cool. It's so cool. Libertarians be like, build your own platform. I did. I did do that. So now, if you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. I've refused money. I've refused sponsors. So, here we are now. We've got the heckoffkami.com up and going. It's ready for you. Go check it out. And again, thank you so much for watching. And may God bless America a second time.